So this would be another good example of where styrene fabrication can come in handy. Uh, the example we're looking at here is again on the SD40M-2 that I'm building. And you can see that we have an air filter behind the fuel tank right in front of the rear truck. We're looking at the back end of the fuel tank as you can see. And this is a detail part that's obviously commercially available. However, something that's not commercially available is this bracket that it's mounted to. This is something that's very specific to the SD40M-2 rebuilds. All of them have this specific bracket that um, the air filters are attached to and then a pipe runs through that behind the air tank here and then down to the filter. This is not a part that is offered by anyone that as far as I know and this is where styrene fabrication can come in handy to recreate this detail. Just like the previous example I've taken a little bit of O10 inch styrene here and I've cut this to size so I have some nice thin pieces and this will basically be the mounting bracket for that filter. I'm going to basically assemble these and glue these to my model in a fashion similar to this. This is on another locomotive shell that I'm working on. This one is on an SD40, straight SD40 car body, but another SD40 M-2. This is the bracket that I've assembled, and then here's that filter, and then here's the pipe. I still got to do a little bit more plumbing, but this is a good example of the kind of bracket that we're making. We're basically making this part for our SD45 model. Looking at our model here, you can see I've laid down another piece of O10 inch styrene to raise the surface up a little bit um, and basically make this flush with the frame so I can set our bracket piece on this. And I'm basically going to be taking these little bits of styrene that I've made. I have a little puddle of super glue that I've put in the corner. And I'm just going to take and dip these pieces in the glue and then secure them onto this little styrene pad just like this. And I'm going to do one little piece at a time until I get all of that put together. Here's that bracket detail now installed on our model, and it only take a couple seconds to fabricate, but you can see we now have the correct style of bracket to support our air filter. Again, I'll refer to my SD40 shell to show you guys what this detail part will look like once it's finished, once we add the piping and the actual details west casting, and it makes for a very good, effective looking detail part, as you can see. So I mentioned earlier that we were going to be modifying a Atherin truck frame with styrene parts to get an accurate look here. And this is a good example as well because small parts can be fabricated for little things that we need. So if we take a look here, we have the standard Atherin early EMD flexi-coil side frame. And you can see the standard uh, brackets here on the trucks. On the SD40M-2s, they replace these with just straight brackets. There's none of this brake gear really showing on any of these rails. So we need to modify a truck frame and add new parts. In this particular case, I've prepared a truck frame and removed all of the brake gear. And where the styrene comes in handy is we can model those railings, those plain railings and brackets, with styrene. And so in this particular case, I've cut a few from basically styrene strip stock. I forget the size of this exactly, but this is where styrene strips can come in handy to get the size that you need. But of course, you can also use styrene sheets for this, but that comes back down to having to measure pieces out. This is the correct dimension for the most part, the correct thickness. All I had to do here was cut the pieces out, as you can see, and then cut the edges and then test fit them to the truck frame. And I'll show you guys what this looks like once they're installed. This is what these trucks will look like when they're done. And you can see that they look really nice. The railings are now finished with the details. I added the last minute details there, installed them, and now the trucks are primed and ready for paint. And you can see once painted, it looks like they were just simply made that way. And that's the great thing with styrene modifications like this. So to wrap up this video, I want to show you guys some more examples of where styrene fabrication can come in handy for model building. And a case we have here is Union Pacific 1665, which is an SD40N. In this particular case, I did a lot of styrene detail work. Uh, this locomotive has custom MU re receptacles, which I scratch built from styrene. It has the Pepsi can style MU holders, which are also made from styrene. The ditch light brackets are custom made from styrene, and I have custom brackets made for the air hose mounting on the front pilot. The PTC antennas on the roof are all scratch built with various gauges of styrene as well. In this case too, the horn stand on this model was scratch built with styrene and brass wire, and you can see that it looks very good and it's very convincing once painted and installed on the model. I mentioned earlier that all these modern locomotives use waste retention tanks, especially on the modern EMD locomotives. And a lot of times I like to scratch build these with styrene and various detail parts as well. And you can see once they're painted and installed on the model, they look pretty good. And it's a very convincing detail part, simply made of styrene. 
A great example is my model of Alaska Railroad 3010, modeled as it looked in Runaway Train, the 1985 action movie, where it collided with the caboose. All of this damage is from this caboose, and all of this material and all of these details were hand fabricated from styrene, various shades of styrene, cut and fit to size on my model. And as you can see, once they're painted and I've put all the snow effects and weathering and put it on the model, everything looks very good. Most of you will remember this caboose. This is one I did a lot of styrene detail work to. All of the end railings and end pieces were done with styrene. I did all kinds of custom styrene details. I made the custom marker lights from styrene, all the end plates from styrene. These lanterns on the sides are scratch made from styrene. The screen holders are made from styrene. The sides were a real trick because I had to completely graft in new sides to this model and cover up windows and all of that was done with styrene. And as you can see after painting and weathering all of this blends in and you can't tell that there was any kind of fabrication involved. It just looks like it was built that way. If we look at the underbody of this car you can see all of the many scratch built details I did to this car that were all done with styrene. Various gauges of styrene were used here and there for certain parts and a lot of different patterns and things were made for this model to be installed on the underbody. Some more examples of my custom styrene fabrication result to my flat car build here with the WWPX 109. This car is a stock Walther's flat car. The sides, ends, and floors, and all these other separate little details uh, to contain the CND load are all scratch built from 040 inch styrene sheet and installed on the flat car. And then with the paint coat and a little bit of weathering it's very convincing. On this car here I took a stock Athern bathtub gondola and added a extension to load with CND here just like the real prototypes were done. And this is all built from 040 inch styrene with various sizes of rib material and other kinds of details all scratch built from styrene. This last example here is a car that is completely scratch built from styrene and I've built six of these so far and they're all in various stages of assembly waiting for paint, weathering, decals, that whole nine yards. And you can see that the entire sides are scratch built from styrene sheets and I used various sizes of styrene ribbing and all kinds of fabricated styrene details to do the top cords, the interiors, everything. A lot of the underbody details are all scratch built from styrene. All kinds of various little parts and accessories are styrene pieces as well and there's many more styrene parts that I have yet to add to these models as well. So as you can see guys, there are a lot of ways I use styrene in my work. I incorporate it in all kinds of builds on freight cars, locomotives, scratch building, kit bashing, everything. It's so versatile and I encourage you guys to learn from these videos and try some of these methods on some of your own projects. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised how much you can actually do with styrene modification. So that'll wrap up this project video for now guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you like this video. Subscribe here on YouTube for more content and more videos in the future. Follow my work on Facebook and Instagram, my Facebook page is Dan's Custom Trains, and I'm always posting pictures of models and products I'm working on for myself and other people. My Instagram is Danny Dankinson, that is all lowercase, and again you can follow me there to see what kind of projects I'm working on. Until next time, thank you for watching guys, take it easy.